What's going on everybody, it's your man Jumping Rope, Levi James, also known as Element Athletic, coming to you from the beautiful Tamarindo Beach down here in Costa Rica. As you can see, this is the beach. Uh, today we're taking a little bit of a break from what we usually do with Jumping Rope. We're going to talk about the TRX, a very popular piece of fitness equipment that you can really take anywhere, just like a jump rope. So if you're on vacation like I am right now, this is a perfect thing to take with you, put it in your suitcase, doesn't weigh very much at all and doesn't take up a lot of space. But do you know how to set it up? Maybe, maybe not. Usually they come with a nice mounting strap. So as you can see, I found a nice anchoring point that's at least six feet off the ground. Six to seven feet is ideal. Uh, these straps do extend a little bit more. So if you do have a place that's a little higher, you can easily do that. Again, it's fully adjustable and very easily customized to whatever height you can, we, we can work with. Once you got it set up, it's got these nice little caliper beaner straps. Oops, this one's locked in. <laughs> So usually what your, what your people will do before you get there is you unlock this Allen key lock here and that'll allow this clip to open up. But this one unfortunately does not because we didn't bring an Allen key with us. That's okay though, because it just clips on through here. Once you got it mounted, you're gonna notice that it has this anti-slip mechanism right in here. So what that does, it helps you prevent fully slipping out when you pull from one side to the next, right? Then you're gonna notice that down the straps here, you're gonna see these yellow markers. You wanna make sure that those ones are lined up so the straps are the same length. So you don't actually have to measure anything, you just have to line up the single lines and then the double lines. That way you're not gonna be one side longer than the other because you'll notice that when you do any pulling or pushing exercises, you want your hands to be even so that you're not pulling or pushing on different sides to so make everything nice and square as possible. From there, you can notice if you need to lengthen the straps, you can see this nice little yellow tab here and you can see this nice little clip push the trigger down, it's gonna unlock it, grab the part of the strap that's not attached to the yellow, and pull through. That's gonna make it longer, that's how you do it. So when you're mounting it, we're about, about at seven foot height here, maybe it's like two, just over two meters. I wanna make sure that the handles rest about, right about hip level. So I'm gonna grab the yellow tab, press down here, and pull it up. Because I've got the markers here, I'm gonna make sure that both sides are the same. So as you notice, one side's a little bit lower, so I just pull this up. Grab these guys here, line up my yellow markers, look down here, are my handles at the same length? No, they are not. So I'm gonna fully adjust it. Beep, boop, beep. There we go. Now as I pull, I notice that my handles are at the same length. So now when I do any exercises, whether it's pulling or pushing, I'm gonna be nice and even there. So it's gonna feel a little bit more stable as I pull. Give it a good little tug before you put any weight on it just to make sure that your mounting strap is not gonna slide anywhere. You're not gonna slip out of the mount right at the top there. You will notice there is a little bit of play back and forth, but it's not gonna fully slide out, all right? It's a nice little feature they added in. From there, you just lean back, make sure it's balanced, grip the heels, keep your body nice and straight, and then as you adjust the intensity, it's about the leverage. So if I push my feet further towards the anchor point, I'm gonna be pulling more of my body. So if I bring my feet in here, it's gonna feel heavier. Just like as if I was adding more weight on the weight stack, or maybe just pulling a little harder, right? If I pull my feet back, it's gonna reduce the intensity, but it's also gonna reduce the range of motion. So it's a bit of a trade-off. Depending on which exercise you're doing, you may wanna lengthen or shorten the straps. We're gonna be doing a push-pull workout in a minute. So I wanna make sure they're about even here, good leverage, so that I can get good resistance as I'm pulling. And then as I'm pushing, I wanna make sure I can fully extend the elbows in my pushing exercises, okay? It takes a little bit of trial and error because everybody's a little bit different. We're all different lever lengths, but that's the great thing about the TRX is that you can fully customize it to fit you. All right, now you got your stuff set up, you gotta plan your workout. What is it that you're gonna do? We're gonna do a push-pull, so I'm gonna be doing a pulling exercise for 30 seconds and then a pushing exercise for 30 seconds. So I've got my timer ready to go. I've got some water over here, because as you can see, it's hot. It's not even eight in the morning and it's already blazing hot out here. It's about 32 degrees. So we picked a nice shady spot as well so that I don't completely melt and die. <laughs> All right, so that's how you set up your TRX in a beautiful tropical location. Like I said, I'm your man Jump Rope, Levi James. Join me in next time for another workout, whether it's Jump Rope, Kettlebells, or TRX. Follow me along in three, two, one, let's go.